my feelings on hip hop now are, um, I think technology has really helped the beat side of things, like the production aspect of it. I think with advancements in Pro Tools and uh, the amount of money you need to actually make beats has dropped significantly, which has um, enabled a lot of inner city cats or anybody for that matter to make really dope beats and move with the times. Um, and I like the beats that I'm hearing these days. You know, they're very um, clean sounding and they're not sample based because samples have gotten a lot of people into trouble. But they've also gotten a little harder in a way and deeper and sonically bigger. Lyrically, hip hop, um, I can't say I'm gonna be quoting, I can't say I'll be quoting anybody in the year 2006, 10 years from now. Like I'm quoting Rakim and Cool G Rap and Big Daddy Kane and you know, Chill Rob G. I'm not, this is the era of um, partying, you know, strip clubs, um, violence, and um, we need to go through this era to get to whatever the next step's gonna be. So, lyrically, um, I'd say I'm a little bit disappointed because um, it's gotten to its most primitive state. And I guess you can make the argument that so have the beats because they're back to the 808, you know? But um, it's different. I think the beats are a little bit different. So I don't know. Hopefully the lyrics will come around a little bit. I think some people have really good delivery right now and they, they can put together a good melody or a good chorus. But I'm talking about like really paying attention to the verse again because back in the day it was about, you know, being able to quote the verse and you actually listen to Rakim's verses. You actually listen to all those people's verses. Now it's like, what's the hook? What's the hook? What's the hook? So I don't like to do too much predictions about, you know, where things are going to go because I'm, I'm usually wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it always makes a weird turn. I mean, I, I never thought hyphy was going to happen, you know. So uh, it's, it's tough to say. I say that um, the only thing I do know is that um, it'll co constantly change, and uh, some stuff might be brought back, but tweaked in a different way. That's what I love about hip hop because it borrows from all genres of music. And I listen to I don't listen to just one type of music. I listen to rock. I listen to soul. I listen to samba. One thing I can guarantee that hip hop will do is it'll mix and match these genres in a way that's never been heard before. The other thing I really like about hip hop is it really stole that bad boy image out of rock and roll. And it'll always be that against the grain feeling in hip hop, I, I believe. You know, that street feel, I, I like that. I think that's that's important to have at least that as one segment of, of hip hop. You know what I mean? The DJ thing, I was able to really predict this one thing, and, and that's that um, because it was so glamorized, you know, and glorified, just a few years back, you know, with the tricks and the scratch pickles and like, you know, the whole live display of, um, you know, DJs doing their thing, that is kind of um, now pushed again to the background like it used to be. Um, mixtapes and stuff like that, you know, some are, some are really, you know, real mixtapes and some are just records put together back to back. Um, you know, it's just like anything else in life, you're going to have some shit that's real, some shit that's just not real. Um, people like buying the mixtapes and it's a very good source of income these days you know especially with all the bootlegs and everything else because people want a variety people are not spending money on cds in the stores these days they're, they're going to the mixtapes to get the new shit or to get the exclusive shit and a lot of cats have really built their brand on having the first shit or having the newest shit before the next dj get it you know which is it's, that's a hustle that's a hard hustle because you got to you know have your connects on deck and you got to be the man you got to be in people's faces and say no i'll get it out there you know and, the, and those artists gotta trust you, so it's a different game. It's not, you know, like not all mixtapes are real mixtapes. I think mixtape um, is a cool thing to say now, you know, to, to draw people to the product, you know.